I've got the juice, yes. I've got the fire, yeah. I've got the juice, I've got the fire, I've got the burning desire. How are you, Beatrice? Are you okay? It's a teacher, Anansieta. Welcome to Easy Elimo, learning simplified. Adding, using, place value chart. Who still does not understand what is a place value chart? What is place value first? We said place value is the number position. When I'm given a number like 322, I'm supposed to add on a number like 7. What happens here? First, put the numbers in their correct place. Places. Put the numbers in the correct places. Understand where each number belongs for you to add. For example, if this number will have been 6, 10 plus 5. Some of you will have written as 6, 10 plus 5. Why? Because they don't understand the position of that number 5. We said when you're given a single number like this, what do you do? For you to understand the placement of this number, don't write a zero after the number. Write the zero before the number. If this number has three numbers, make this number three numbers. For you to understand the position of this number, five. So if I'm given seven like that and I'm told, write the place value of this number. I will put zero before this number, seven. Then I add to make that number equal to the upper number. So what happens is I will ask myself, which number two is in which number in which place value? It's in the ones, then we have tens, then we have hundreds. When you've been told, add 322 plus 7. Avoid writing. For example, there are those who will be when they're told to add this number like this, they will just come and say 322 plus 7. And this one is very wrong. Why? Because you don't know the exact position of this number called 7. And that is why it is very important for us to use the place value chart. Come and indicate there. 307. We said plus 7. You put zeros, same number of zeros before that number to make it equal to the first number so that when you're writing it, you're able to fix number seven in the correct position of its place value. And that is what I have done here. So what will happen here? I'll choose my method, my easiest method so far. So seven plus two, seven in the head, two fingers out. So I'll say seven, eight, nine. Come here and write nine. 2 plus 0, what do we say? Any number plus a 0? Any number plus a 0 is that number. So this one automatically becomes 2 and this one becomes 3. So my answer there becomes 329. Now, I've been given here another number. We've been given here another number. Let's see. This number is 182 plus 5. What will happen? First of all, indicate. Let us know each number with its place value. And we are saying this is 1s, these are 10s, and this H stands for 100s. So when you see HTO, it means 1s, 10s, 100s. Then we said any time you are given one number, put zeros before that number. So ask yourself, which one is the easiest method for you to use? I'll come here and say 5 plus 2, 5 in the head, 2 fingers out, 5, 6, 7. So I get here as 7. What is the rule? Any number plus a 0? Any number plus a 0 is that number. Any number plus a zero is that number. What if you have been given a number like 6, 5, 8, plus 7? What happens here? We are saying, first of all, indicate the place value of each 
number so that you understand what exactly you are adding to what so and what happens here you put zeros before that number to indicate that there is no number there then after that come to your method agree are you using the big number in the head the counters whichever method so i'll say eight in the head seven fingers out i go eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen i get here a fifteen but now this fifteen i am supposed to regroup it for me to understand which number falls where. So if I regroup this, this one is ones and this one is tens. So the only number that I will write here is five. And in the, the one, I will carry it into the tens place value because that is where it below belongs. So I'll add this one plus five where I'll get six. Six plus a zero, the rule is any number plus a zero is that number. Then I have here a 6 plus a 0, which will also be 6, because there is nothing in 0 to add on. Now, someone to come and try this, someone to come and try this, we have 815 plus 9. Yes, Johnny, Johnny, please come and show us. First of all, what, are, what have I said? Please tell us the position of those numbers. Where does it belong? And we are saying this is ones, this is tens, and this is hundreds. So tell us these numbers. What are we supposed to do? Put zero before that number, nine. Put zero before that number nine. So we are asking ourselves, what is nine plus five? Nine plus five, what are we doing? Put the big number in the head, nine, five fingers out. So we say nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. We are getting a 14. But now, this 14, we are not supposed to write the whole of it in one's place value. Again, regroup this and tell us. What is the place value of 4 and what is the place value of 1? So you'll understand that the place value of 4 is 1. So 4 remains here. But for this one, I am carrying it to the tens place value because that is where it belongs. So I'll say 1 plus 1 is a 2. A 2 plus a 0 is a 2 because any number plus a 0 is that number. And 8 plus a 0 will give us 8. So our answer will be 824. So for this, we want to do some. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the homework is here. I have 722 plus 9. First of all, indicate for me what is the plus value of each number. Then tell us what to do. Then the sixth one is we have 581 plus 8. So I want to see clear. Show us what exactly you have done and what you carry. Kindly tell us this is what I carried. And for you to remember what you carried, circle it. Are we together? Any question up to there? Any problem? So tomorrow when we meet, you want to look at something else. But remember, tell us the place value of each number before you add. And tell us what you've carried from where to where. Is that okay? Am I very clear? It was nice having you around and I hope to see you in the next lesson. <music>